What's up guys, Brendan from Market Makers. I have a special treat for you today. We're gonna focus on 108K Bitcoin and market symmetry. Yesterday I gave you the three rising valleys pattern, showed you how a market structure pattern can get you to 108K Bitcoin. And big thank you to CoinsKit, one of the biggest YouTubers in the space, gave us credit for that pattern on his channel. Really appreciate that. Guys, I wanna show you how we can use the Wyckoff price cycle and Darvis boxes and Jesse Livermore pivot points to get to 108k Bitcoin all with market symmetry moves. This is going to be really, really fun and very informative. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Nobody else on YouTube is doing videos like this, guys. So smash up the like button, hit subscribe, check out our channel. Our Discord channel is in a video description. You would absolutely love the room. We have 6,000 people there. Let's go ahead and get into this. So guys, for the new subs, Wyckoff has four key phases in his price cycle. Okay, the four key phases. Now, the greats of our time all had one common denominator, the great technical analysts and the great traders. They understood price moved in patterns. Jesse Livermore, the most successful trader of all time, a self-made billionaire, the turn of the 20th century, self-made billionaire, utilized pivot points. Wyckoff developed a price cycle as well as a schematic overlay. Gann came out with math to solve the problems in the marketplace. Gartley developed the Gartley pattern. Ralph Nelson Elliott developed waves. All of us are using aspects of these various trading systems in our current day trading, in some cases 50 to 100 years later. It's really incredible when you think about it. So let's look at this right now. Accumulation, markup, distribution, markdown. Four phases to the Wyckoff price cycle, guys, and we complete it. One complete cycle here after the markdown. We go back to accumulation, markup, distribution, markdown. Complete it two complete Wyckoff price cycles at this point. This is not the Wyckoff schematic for the new subs. This is my schematic utilizing Darvis boxes, Livermore pivot points, and of course the Wyckoff price cycle. Now within the Wyckoff price cycle, he has sub steps such as reaccumulation, which Bitcoin has completed twice. So that is denoted here as well. Now guys, what I wanna show you, you hear me beat this to death all the time. What is the most commonly retraced to FIB in pattern trading? It is the 618, right? So let's take this from the baseline of our Darvis box in accumulation, go up to the top of reaccumulation on the dollar, and let's see where price got to in the first complete Wyckoff price cycle. Just shy of the 618, denote it here in gold. Just shy, a couple hundred dollars shy. Depending on your exchange, you may have hit the 618. Now let's do the exact same thing. Remember, our accumulation box right here is now up higher. This is how you get higher highs. Our accumulation box is up here because we completed a Wyckoff price cycle. So this is our accumulation box. We're gonna go from the base of our accumulation box, again, to the top of our reaccumulation box, just like we did the first time. Look where the 618 is. I mean, guys, this isn't the amazing part, but I want you to understand this. Look where the 618 is. So two complete Wyckoff price cycles. You almost hit the 618 on the first cycle. You pierce it on the second cycle. Both times you reject it from that fib and price falls down into markdown and goes back down into accumulation. Now, keep in mind, what's really amazing about this when you consider this, is the price starting points. So your price starting point down here for the low is 3893 Bitcoin, okay? 3893 Bitcoin and over here you're at 28797 Bitcoin and you're still hitting the same fib in measured moves. Now watch this. This is something really interesting. Let's go from the reaccumulation box to the top of the distribution box because what you're probably thinking is, well that's interesting Brendan, you hit the 618 twice in both Wyckoff price cycles, but you got a problem. Your problem is the only box you have right now is accumulation. Where is your reaccumulation box going to be? Where is your new distribution box going to be and how can you determine that? How can you predictively determine that? To answer that question, you have to use market symmetry. So let's get a measured move. Let's get a measured move from the base of the reaccumulation box. Let me get this exact. The base of the reaccumulation box up to the top of the distribution box, 132.63%. 132.63%. And then let's do that again. We're gonna go from the base of the re, uh, of accumulation box to the top of the distribution box. 
this is going to be 141.25. You average these two numbers together, 136.325. I already did the math on my phone. 136.325. So guys, since you see how price moves, accumulation becomes reaccumulation, distribution, markdown, accumulation, right? Your accumulation box is higher. If you note this, your accumulation box is higher than the previous accumulation box. This is how you get higher highs, okay? So we're going to take the base, which we haven't even tested yet. The base of this accumulation box, which is 39... 39712. And again, I mar I copied this exact accumulation box here over. But the base may be higher, maybe at 42. But this let's just take a measured move from the exact cycle that Bitcoin's repeated now. So this is 39K. And let's go 136.325%. And let's see what magic number we end up at. 136. Let's get the 136.325. 108,200. 108,200 utilizing a measured move that Bitcoin has repeated twice. Not a 2013 fractal, guys. Nothing from 2018. This is current bull run, current Bitcoin price action, 2021. Bitcoin has done this move twice already and got, and then the next time it does it, we can get to 1082 Bitcoin, the same exact price target of our rising valleys pattern, 108K Bitcoin. Market structure, market symmetry, you're seeing it in the Wyckoff price cycle and the Darvis box setup, okay? This is absolutely phenomenal when you consider this. Now, what's the downside? Because this is all bullish. What's the downside? The downside is Bitcoin has to hold this box. Now, I measured that. Keep in mind, I measured that from 39... 700, 39,712. I measured that from there and you get to 108K Bitcoin. If Bitcoin holds what we're calling the angel number, 47,772, for the people who haven't seen me talk about my uh, Wyckoff price cycle, this pivot point, as Jesse Livermore would call it or Darvis would call it, this is a pivot point, a key number in the Wyckoff price cycle for Bitcoin, okay? Look at this. Support and resistance in every single pivot. Support and resistance. Every single pivot, missed it by like $100 over here, but every single pivot point is support and resistance at 47,772. The bullish news is if you can hold that line and that is your base, then the Bitcoin price action gets even higher at 136% move. I mean, I have to, I have to pull this thing down so you can see, see this. Uh, let's go. Where we got to get to here? 136%. You're looking at 130k Bitcoin if you don't lose if you don't lose that number the 47772 you're looking at 130k Bitcoin okay assuming it gets bullish sentiment and starts moving back up now if we lose this base this is the downside if you lose this base of 39x if you lose that base I mean, at that point, Bitcoin's going down. At that point, you're, you have printed a head and shoulder, and you could see you already would have a neckline. You see this? You already would have a neckline from these candles that you have. This is a weekly time frame. So you have head and shoulder, and you'll be dropping, okay? So if you can hold this base, if you can just keep price dissension to above 39K, and you get bullish sentiment back in the market, 108K Bitcoin is not a pipe dream. It is a realistic price target based on the exact measured move Bitcoin has done twice now already in this market. The same measured move in our three rising valleys, okay? You take the measurement from your peak two down to your valley one, okay? And that's how you get that price prediction. And guys, that 39K number, very important number because look at our valley two right here. Right there, you're at 39x as well. You are at 39,805. So do you see that? If you fall out of the if you fall out of the Darvis box and the Wyckoff price cycle, and you lose 39k, you're also losing Valley Two. You can see how bearish that would be. And actually, on a four-hour time frame, you can also see that would be a double top. Okay. So there's all these different things, these different metrics happening in the marketplace, and they're all marrying together. Understanding market symmetry understanding how patterns work guys this is very very key to making money in this market come check out market makers our discord our twitter all our info is in the video description love to see you guys there if there's six thousand other people that we have and again happy trading family talk to you guys soon